This is day 1955 of living in Seoul, South Korea. I'm having what could be labeled as a mental breakdown. Well, as much as a mental breakdown my emotional constipation would allow, but do you see this skin? And then do you see this? This is a move-induced pimple. After three years in that place, I'm actually moving and I'm so, so excited. To be honest, the place that I'm going to is, well, first of all, in a better area, in a more expensive area. My current rent is about 700,000 won. Um, the place that I'm going to is actually close to 2 million. So it's definitely a big jump. I think anything above 2 million, whether or not you can afford it, I mean, except if you're like filthy rich, right? It's one thing to be able to spend that on rent and still have, you know, disposable income and stuff like that. It's another thing to just be financially savvy. Think of like the things that you can actually do with that money. You know, just because you can afford a place that costs like $5,000 a month doesn't mean that I would really advise you to go to such a place because... I don't know, it's just like, it's the mindset that I have. Like, you do whatever you want with that money, but it's just, I do invest my money, save up. So yeah, I visited places that were like 3 million. I visited places that were like 4 million. And then I saw this one that I'm actually moving to that you guys are going to see. And then I thought about what I could do with the extra 2 million that I would not have to invest in the previous places that I had visited. And so to me, it was just the right choice. My place right now, it's about the messiest it's... Oh, okay. Thought you had me there. I have another one. It's kind of a good thing that it cut off because I was about to lie to you guys and say that this is the messiest my place has ever been, but it's been a lot messier. <laughs> a lot messier than what you're actually going to see. So, you know, think what you want to think, okay? Not to be defined by my mess. The perks of having a king size, you can have your mess here and then sleep in the corner over there. <laughs> this iMac, you guys, I don't even know why I bought it. I'm trying to sell it right now, but no one is buying it. Mm, ta <laughs> I'm feeling very vulnerable right now. But yeah, I sold my TV and the furniture that I had it on. This, I was about to freaking sell because I don't want it. I don't want that. I'm going for like a way less colorful, you know, kind of depressed interior. So I was going to sell it and then they flaked on me. So there's that. Oh, my bathroom. And then <laughs> the piece of resistance. There you go. That's where all of my clothes are. That's also where my skincare is. So, okay, no, I myself will admit that this is very bad. And this is why I hired people. It cost me an arm, but what are you going to do? This is not something that I can do by myself. I accumulated way too much stuff. You guys, until you buy your own house, your forever home, don't buy shit. This is my advice to you. Don't enjoy life. Just lock yourself in a room. Don't buy furniture. No, but realistically, I think it's um, very smart to go in like furnished homes if you can. Not buy too much. To me, my space is like very important. So I did want it to feel like home. You know, I'm abroad by myself. So I did want it to feel like home and that was very important to me. So I guess that's why I invested so much money into my interior. I would not do it again. I'm telling you, people who are into minimalism, they read a book that we didn't wish that were me. It is not. I am working towards it. Um, I don't know how that's gonna go. But anyway, you guys, I've been talking for so long. It's about time to give that vlog a little bit of consistency. Also, can I just say, I don't know why I invested so much in like lenses and stuff. I'm practically using my phone for everything. Oh, someone's buying my chair. a calendar from 2022 this is a psa you guys to not put your furniture too close to the wall otherwise humidity wait filming all of this is kind of fun it's like i used to be a youtuber or something i need a break it's dinner time oh, i know soda is like really bad for you but this is you know the one vice that i can't seem to get away from i don't smoke i don't drink but sugar and that third degree burn that Sprite gives you. Oof, ginger ale. Don't even get me started on ginger ale. Also, ugh, this is so good, you guys. They don't have it in Korea, so I bought some in France because I was in Paris not too long ago. I don't know if I like this or the Kinder Bueno better, but anyway, they're both exquisite. Mm. Also, I usually eat real food for dinner, but with the move and stuff, this is all I have. Ugh. Oh, guys, do you want to take a look at my vanity view with me for a second? These, wait, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's do this very quickly. These suck. 
I hate these. I'm so sorry for Hailey Bieber. I'm sure that she's a very hardworking woman. It has shea butter in it and I don't like shea butter in my lip products because then they get gritty. With the difference in like temperatures and stuff, it melts and it comes together again and it melts in your pocket, in the cold, in your bag. So that's why you have those like grains that form. The formulation sucks. I really wanted to like them. These are two serums and essences that I've been absolutely loving. Peach and Lily, Papa Peptide Pro Firming Serum. I've only been using it for like a week, a little bit more than a week actually, but I've been loving it. This, you guys, by Mixun, glass skin in a bottle. You can use it multiple ways. You can exfoliate with it. Favorite vitamin A product ever. I said what I said by Beauty of Joseon, Le Labo Centel 33. I got a huge ass bottle. And then last product I'm gonna talk about because then I really wanna pee. Alicia, eyebrow product. What's it called? Shaper Pomade, eyebrow fixer. I really like it because you have the product if you twist like that. And then if you just pull, you have, you know, these tools to kind of like, and that's it for today. Oh my god, you guys, I freaked out because I thought um, I had chocolate or something on my Stussy sweater. Like, was that sewn by a five-year-old? Like, why is it? Oh, anyway. I got what's possibly the last package ever in this house anyway. And it's from Wish Trend. How symbolic. They sent me a restock of the rice toner. So thank you for that. I don't think it needs any introduction. And I personally requested two of the sulfur um, 3% clean gel because I ran out but I love it so much I really really wanted more and these expire in November 2025 so we have time purchase this in bulk because it's amazing wait the lighting kind of sucks it's really good for like what a lot of it's really good for like what a lot of people think are blackheads but it's actually not it's sebaceous filaments oxidized sebaceous filaments and it's so good for that I haven't used it in a long time as you can probably tell and now it's back I'm also selling this, the little wooden bench. Everything is so disgusting. I can't believe I'm showing you this, but it is what it is. Very, very ceremonial moment. This is the last time that I'm gonna get to order my favorite burger because it's not a chain. So my go-to order is like grease with a side of grease and then for dessert I add a little bit of grease on top of everything just to get a little bit of variety, you know. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. When I think about it, a lot of good things happen in this place. But I'm always super excited for like new beginnings. I'm super weird about Mondays, for example. I love Mondays. I don't know why. Because like no matter how shitty it gets, if you divide it by months, by weeks, by days, by hours, and then it's not a bad month, it's a bad week. And then it's not a bad week, it's a bad day. And then it's not a bad day, it's a bad hour. You have to fragment everything. <laughs> That's the way I go about it. But yeah, so I love new beginnings. I'm so happy to be starting 2024 in that new space that I'm going to be showing you guys soon enough i'm happy to be decorating you know the new space with furniture and like colors that feel more me because this space that we're in right now it's very 2020 many oh, even the fries are so good i usually ask for the tomato and the lettuce to be taken out of my burger just because i feel like those should not be eaten warm for the first time in years Maybe for the first time ever, actually. I have what feels like resolutions. I want to keep on being surrounded by the wonderful people that are surrounding me at the moment. I don't know if you guys ever felt that. Where it's like, I don't want to meet new people because I feel like I'm not even great to the people that are surrounding me right now. I feel like as time goes by, my bandwidth and my patience is running thinner and thinner. And I can only give so much to people, right? I feel like as time goes by, like this circle that I'm comfortable with, you know, like gets smaller and smaller. Starting 2024 with a bang, new space, new mindset, being healthier, which sounds really funny with me right now, basically eating cholesterol in the form of food. Oh my God, you guys, breaking news. This move, when I tell you that it was low-key traumatizing for me, not super emotional as in like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? You know, like, cause things work out you can chill but more in a draining restless why the fuck did i buy so many things kind of way i legit went into that room over there and i just stared at my clothes and i was like why 
you know what happens when I get home? I'm too lazy. I go to bed. I don't want to go to bed with the clothes that I wore all day. So I take them off. They're on the floor. Chances are I'm going to fall asleep because that's what I do. One thing about me, I will sleep hours and hours and hours. And then I wake up and you know what happens? I go and take a shower. I pick up the clothes that I left on the floor the night before. And then I go on with my life. So why am I buying all of these things if I'm going to be wearing the same shit? every single day well not every single day that was pushing it a little bit but a lot of the time i'm wearing the same shit minimalism no i don't know about minimalism because that's like going from one extreme to another i don't know if minimalism is going to be at the center of 2024 but decluttering is going to be at the center of 2024 i'm so over it i don't want to have to deal with this ever again i'm going to be selling donating i don't want my stuff to be occupying more space than my energy that was beautiful the fuck no that also meant nothing but i know you know what i mean sometimes i'm in a space and i like to feel at peace because it's clean because it's organized and you know when i get to enjoy that never because look at what's behind me how do you do that with all of this you know you don't anyway i'm really bad at multitasking now so i'm gonna finish my burger